Here, let me... Nick Merckx as a beta male and eight thoughts as the goat. Okay. If you know anything about the Call of Duty community, if you know anything about me, if you know anything about the history of me, you know that I have been, regardless of what you think about how my current content looks or how long I've been making YouTube videos, then you don't know. But those that know, know. And there has been no one who is first to the line or has done it longer as far as being critical of Call of Duty than me and critical of the Call of Duty community. There is no person that is the opposite of what a Call of Duty COD would be. And I am going to keep it real and pack that mother steel, if you know what I'm saying, all right? Also, I want to get out of the way. Listen, you little beta male dweeb ass dorks. You know what I'm saying? Someone's trying to say, oh, you're not looking very beefy there, Ghost of Bay. Oh, yeah, listen, listen, brother. It's called camera angle, you stupid idiots. Look, I'll go back here. Look how big I am now, yeah? Because it's the angle of the camera. If I get real close like this. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that because you fucking idiots were pissing me off. All right, but let's get really serious here because we're talking about video games and this is serious business, brother. Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome, but I have to tackle these people out here now who are just, how, how can I say it? Um, bullshitting you, clickbaiting you, looking for any excuse to say something negative about Call of Duty, making up things about Call of Duty, Black Ops 6, or any game just so they can make a hate video on it because those get views. Because really the only things anyone's being honest now can say about Call of Duty or in general that they don't like would be the skill-based matchmaking or the EOMM that may or may not even actually be that strong in the game anymore because honestly, out of all these people who hate on Call of Duty, I'm really the only person who's actually still playing the game on a daily basis. And the point is this. I am critical of Call of Duty when there is something critical to be said about the game. I'm not going to sit here and try to make up nonsense, try to make up excuses, try to find the smallest, tiniest little thing and lie about it and try to manipulate it so that I can make a Call of Duty hate video and get views. And that's what these people are doing right now. These Call of Duty Black Ops 6 or In Trouble videos, they're nothing but just people who are worse than COD Cod and how those guys used to be about how they used to sit here and deep throat the Call of Duty games and lie and try to pump it up like they were some kind of paid Activision shill. These people now are worse than those because now they just lie and clickbait about how bad the game is when it's not even bad. How the fuck does anybody even know anything about Black Ops 6 at this point? No one knows anything really about the game. No one has any actual real information about it. No one has even seen it except for the 20 second clip of some multiplayer gameplay. And at this point, the only thing you can complain about Call of Duty is the skill-based matchmaking or engagement optimization matchmaking, which may or may not be even that bad anymore. As someone who plays the game on a regular basis, who plays it all the time, every day, I don't play it for four or five hours at a time. I can't do that with any video games anymore. I'm just not into it like that. But I play an hour or two every day, get some gameplay footage, have a little fun, and then get the fuck out. And when I compare my experiences playing that to a game like X Defiant, which I do play from time to time, which is supposed to not have any skill-based matchmaking, I... My own opinion, if you disagree, that's fine, but I'm just telling you my own personal experience, believe it or not, I don't give a fuck. I'm just telling you, I cannot tell or differentiate the difference between my experiences playing a game that supposedly has skill-based matchmaking and a game that doesn't have it in X Defiant. That's all I'm going to say. And the point is, is this as well. Skill-based matchmaking and EOMM or whatever you think it is, doesn't seem like it's going to change or go away or it hasn't actually been officially announced that they're going to fix it or change it. They have sort of have some kind of inklings about how they are experimenting with different ways of which they are implementing it in the video games like Call of Duty multiplayer and Warzone. And I honestly, when I've been playing recently, I have been getting a lot of variation between sweats and guys who just suck. And I've been enjoying it for the most part. Like, you know, it's just Call of Duty. But my point to that is, before we go into why Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome, is that... If that's your thing and that's your problem with the game and you don't want to play it because of that, then you know what? You need to come to fruition here and a realization that that's never going to change then. So crying about it, complaining about it doesn't do you any good because one, you probably don't even play the game. Two, if you are playing it and still complaining about that, it's sort of like, you know, beating a dead horse, doing something crazy, is trying to do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And that's what you're doing. So you might as well just either stop talking about it or not play it and just walk away. That's the only answer. But let's talk about why Black Ops 6 is going to be awesome. Because every single Church game has been awesome. 
Every single one. The only one that was not good was Cold War, and that still was pretty damn good and fun compared to Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 3, in my opinion, is awesome. Uh, those who don't like it probably aren't even playing it. It is a lot of fun. It has tons of content, lots of maps. The weapons are awesome. The balancing is fun. I have nothing bad to say about Modern Warfare 3 in any way whatsoever. I play it every day, and I'm having fun with it, and that's just the way it is. But, as far as Treyarch games go, the only game that wasn't that great was Cold War. And the reason why is because they had to help a previous developer, Sledgehammer Games, help play and make another video game. They only had a year or so to make Cold War. That's why it didn't have much content, and that's why it felt kind of a little bit empty. But still, it was a fun arcade game. But then we look at Black Ops 4. Awesome game. Black Ops 3, really awesome game. Black Ops 2, number one or two, depending upon your opinion, as the best Call of Duty ever. Black Ops 1, once again, top three Call of Duty of all time. World at War, fucking awesome game as well. One of the best games of all time as well. I'd say Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Call of Duty, World at War. I mean, they could be the top five best games of all time. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is up in there. That's one of my favorite games of all time. I'm talking about the original back in 2009, I believe. So my question is, and my point is, why wouldn't Black Ops 6 be awesome? They've had three years to make it. It's the same developers, the same team, the same people. Cold War was pretty decent, and it was an incomplete game that they didn't have a lot of time to develop. Once again, this time, they have a full three years, which is more than they ever had before. And they have a lot of the things that we're asking for. They have old school prestige, the map system they're talking about, the gameplay they're talking about looks to be like old school. The zombies are old school, round based. The campaign looks pretty fun, even though I don't care too much about Call of Duty campaigns because at the end of the day, it's like a five hour, six hours, and it's kind of an afterthought, not really worried about it. And the reason why I start off the video by saying all these guys are just clickbait and bullshit artists, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is in trouble, oh God, type youtubers is because they're just making up nonsense and it just proves that they're full of shit because why would it be bad you tell me why we bad everything is telling you that black ops 6 is going to be a great call of duty there's really nothing to tell you if you're being honest that black ops 6 is going to be bad or in trouble the past history of treyarch tells you that the future of treyarch is in good hands the past video games that treyarch has made will show you that the future games that they're going to make i.e black ops 6 is going to be awesome so i mean these people are just Pathetic, man. And Black Ops 6 is going to be a good game. If you don't like skill-based matchmaking, you know, and all that, and that bothers you, then just stop being involved in the Call of Duty franchise if that's the big hang-up for you, because that's not going to change. You're not going to change to the point where it's going to satisfy you, I'm sure. And if you keep playing the game and crying about it, you got to be mentally challenged. I'm the Ghost of 8. Thanks for watching.